ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to This Is A Work. This Is A Work is a monthly wrestling podcast focused on the WWE's pay-per-view events. My name is David Hensley. I'm the owner and creative director of Long Walk Productions, and my job is to introduce your host, David Two Dogs Hayes. Thank you, Hensley, and welcome to Rock Hill, South Carolina's only premier WWE pay-per-view review podcast. This is a work. I am your host, David Two Dogs Hayes. Alongside me is my buddy, my co-host, my palomino, Chris, the Sarge Barnes. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Women be wrestling. Am I right? Women be wrestling. I got to tell you guys, I, I'm ex- really excited to get into this tonight. Um, before we do, let us welcome our guest this evening. She is the wife of David Hensley. She is an actress in Charlotte and the Rock Hill area. And uh, just all around one of my favorite people. <laughs> go easy, go easy. It's, uh, I like every, I like a lot of people. Uh, 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 okay. Katie Bearden. Oh, be, 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 be. How happy you doing? to be here. Right. Um, just being David's wife does not define me. I will just let you know that. Well, right that's why front. I threw the actress in there. Too. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> why not? Why not? I'm super excited. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm a big fan of this podcast. Uh, I really, really enjoy it from a fan perspective. And I'm a casual fan, as you would say. So I'm not sure. I'm a little nervous about how much I can contribute to this. But um, being a female and being in a room full of males, I'm, I'm going to have my say. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. we're all going to yeah. have our say tonight. <laughs> and if we don't give her her say, she's going to body slam us through my well, desk. So. Please, I like this desk. There's a lot of expensive stuff on it. I wish you would have told me to wear some clothes, though. <laughs> well, it's, you know. It's a it, little chilly. It's we, we keep it casual around here. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, never mind. <laughs> well, let me ask you, um, being a casual fan, mm-hmm. what would you say your first, uh, well, not, not your first, your best memory of wrestling growing up? Oh, man. Well, I think you and I were talking off air about this uh, a couple weeks ago. How? Yeah, I'll load the question. So uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my favorite sport is softball. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, bada bing. <laughs> so, I guess one of my earliest memories of wrestling, and I was, um, what we were talking about is. Um, working up to this pay-per-view being all women on the card was so exciting because when I was growing up, um, I didn't really have a favorite female wrestler. And I told you one of my favorite female wrestlers that I, I really paid attention to was Lita. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I, you know, do I remember a certain match? No. Do I remember any like storylines with her? No, but if I had to go back and pick a wrestling moment, it would not include any women, unfortunately. So that just speaks to how we have evolved exactly from uh, that kind of perspective. And one of my favorite wrestling memories is a conglomerate of intro music and the like the first time you got to meet a character like I remember the first time that Kane was introduced as the Undertaker's brother oh yeah so but we couldn't show his face because he was in a fire as a child and he was so horribly mangled fire that killed his parents oh my god it killed his parents and like as a preteen watching those kind of storylines, it was really scary to me. Like, The Undertaker was really scary to me um, watching it. So I remember when they crucified The Undertaker. Um, oh, and yeah. I, I remember a lot of bits and a lot of matches. But I I more remember those storylines that scared me. And I remember moments of people like Stone Cold and... 
The Rock and Triple H having those intros in the middle of people speaking and, you know, like just disrupting whatever was going on. And that, that to me, as a casual fan, was the most impactful because I lived for when Stone Cold pop those two cans of beers together like that but i was i was i was a child i was a child (laughs) but it was um i have an older brother he's about five and a half years older than i am and that is the one thing that we connected on so if anything if i shuffle off this mortal coil and don't take anything with me between me and my brother we always have wrestling See, it, so, it brings families together. It does. <laughs> it, it caused many um, a bruised and or sprained ankle on my part, too, because once upon a time, he got the soundtrack. <laughs> and he, he did this really mean thing, just not to derail the whole conversation. No, no. But he did this really mean thing because he was older than me. He loved to just toss me around like a rag doll. <laughs> and one time, my parents were out having date night. We were home by ourselves, and Patrick yells up the... Uh, stares to me hey mom and dad are back and they brought home dinner and i was like a uh, fatty boom Bilati back then so i was like oh my god food so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because patrick scared me so bad that whenever mom and dad would leave the house i would close my door and lock it because he would find a way uh... to screw with me like he would find like this is he needed a little brother he didn't need sensitive me but anyway i go to the top of the stairs and i'm halfway down the stairs and y'all everything gets quiet and i hear too quiet boom boom and here comes patrick around the corner to the undertaker's intro music with a paper bag on his head with the eye holes cut out and his graduation robe and decides to like to protect his identity to protect his identity (laughs) because he knew that the undertaker scared me right and he proceeded to pull me down the stairs it was just like a horror movie and he beat the shit out of me (laughs) so yes wrestling bringing us all together (laughs) for what it's worth Yes, sometimes family hurts. It's, uh, <laughs> trauma bonds truth. a lot faster than other things. That's right the on. truth. <laughs> now, i got to ask you the, the standard question. Your Mount Rushmore of wrestlers. Oh, man. Four in random order. Go. Oh, God. Okay, so Triple H. Agreed. I, I really enjoy him. Well, I enjoyed him um, in... That time bracket of, you know, we all did. Yeah, so I, I pre super you know, show. Yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say I, I listened to the last podcast and I was like, oh, 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 oh. like I wanted it to be so good because it was the Undertaker and Triple yeah. H. Anyway, God, but too. he definitely has to be on my Mount Rushmore. I'm trying to think of my room when I was that age because. All the other girls had Hanson and NSYNC and all this crap. And I had on the back of my door, so I guess my next one would be Bill Goldberg. (laughs) Breathing fire. (laughs) (laughs) No tea, no shade. I liked a lot of bald guys. (laughs) And I mean, up there, you know, it's stone cold. And I guess uh, to round it out would have to be The Rock. So um, unfortunately, that... That, that, is a, that was my 12-year-old Mount Rushmore. If you ask me that question when we're done with this podcast, because it might be very, very different. No, that, there is nothing wrong with that because... That, that I, makes perfect sense for when you were watching wrestling. It's yeah. for perfect. That's the prime attitude era, like big four almost, yeah. And, you know, I think that the people that did grow up around that time are fortunate because, to my knowledge, we have never had that many a-list wrestlers, but you named four A-list wrestlers. Man, uh, uh, we, we, it was a very fortunate time in wrestling. Mm-hmm. As a, I don't think it'll ever really happen again. It, everything just <sighs> seemed to <sighs> crash together in such a way. I, I keep that doubting Thomas I, I, because there was two giants competing, and they were so desperate to win mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. that they were that they wanted to mix it up so bad. That they were willing to try anything and put a lot of people out there that probably wouldn't have gotten as big of a chance, kind of like today-ish. Right. Because right now, there is just, there's one big guy, 
and then further, further down, like there are people. They there don't are people. Know what, they don't always have to be big, though. No, like, they don't. Triple no, H. No, I think giants no. metaphorically. Just, oh, oh, I'm there's sorry. One, I'm there's sorry. One, there's I, one big company. You always tell me that Vince loves a tall guy. Like he and loves, he does. He loves a good giant. He does. That's, okay, that's yeah, what I thought oh, you meant. I'm sorry. That it kind of that still explains Bobby Lashley to a degree, but mm, well, we're going to get into some Bobby Lashley. Oh, I've fun. got. Uh, I have no idea what that means. What <laughs> keeps his sweatband on, y'all? Nothing because it keeps popping off. <laughs> it, keeps oh, it keeps popping, popping off, off now. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Apparently they took good, the... like wig glue up underneath that. <laughs> yeah, they zone. took the Velcro out uh, <laughs> recently oh, <God>. and uh... <laughs> the stitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now I've I've got a surprise for you guys uh, this evening. Bob uh, Lashley is here. Oh You're... God, we're dead. <laughs> Your wiener's out. Is that a surprise? <laughs> no, I just, I like to get comfortable. That's oh, all. Uh, okay. Well, I'll pull mine out then, too. Guys, we have fan questions <gasps> tonight. <gasps> yeah. Only three, but that's, you know what? That's, that's all right. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> that was a real gasp. I'm not. <laughs> that, the, from all three listeners. Uh, uh Two of them I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> So let me uh, let me jump right in here, gang guys. Okay. If you do have questions, please hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, and I'll give you all that information out later. Yeah, feel free to harass any of us. <laughs> yeah, and and also hit Barnes up. You've got quite and sure. actually, the first question is about you. <gasps> I don't know if I like this. <laughs> The question is, what are you doing later? Are you single? <laughs> oh, ASL. my God. Booty O's. <laughs> <laughs> the answer oh, is no. <laughs> we have don't. a new nickname. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. <laughs> Chris. Booty O's. They've edited this out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's staying in there. I'm going to so, keep saying it uh, subliminally. Anyway, go ahead. Is Chris Barnes a permanent guest or is he your co-host? This comes from Reggie from Instagram. I don't know if that's uh, my question to answer. This is this is your rodeo. No, <laughs> ab, I, and, and I will. I'm happy uh, to answer that question. He is. He's not just. We are co-hosts. I just live in this room. <laughs> <laughs> we give him a sandwich and a place to stay, and that's no, uh, no. He is. Uh, I am a co-host. Chris Barnes is a co-host. We are we are a tag team. That that's how that works. Aww. I just happened to open the show and close the show. That's about it. I can't stop him. I've tried. <laughs> but no, you won't. You won't be getting rid of me anytime soon. No, no. I I I, 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 I don't. I don't see any glass windows nearby. No, no. I I couldn't. It's uh, Chris has uh, an insight into wrestling that I don't have anymore. Uh, Chris. Well, not with that attitude. (laughs) Well, Chris sees things uh, from a fan and insider perspective. Um, I understand what they're trying to do, but I don't like what I like. Right. I kind of see things with my blinders off because I've been in the ring and I kind of, I, I, I can't help but see things. And, uh, Hang on. It I think, makes me look think, at things differently. I think I just said the phrase, I don't like what I like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get excited. Uh, I wasn't going to m- mention that. None no, of us questioned no, it. None okay, of us that one you it. can edit. <laughs> I ha- no, I had to say that because I know someone's going <laughs> to... I thought maybe that was some kind of weird wrestling reference to something that I didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I kicked like, my leg out from under my well, leg. Well, a follow-up question for Reggie on Instagram is, are you okay with that? Because I don't think it's going to change, so oh, no. you might as well either subscribe and review now, or, oh, um, no. <laughs> you know, because he's here to stay. And we like lost him. the okay, listeners. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's true. They, they drag me into this room and hit me with a broom and say, podcast. <laughs> now, um, this other one uh, wishes to remain anonymous. <sighs> I've known this day was coming. Um <gasps> Anonymous wants to know my opinion on women's wrestling. Okay. I wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my vagina wrote that one. <laughs> um, there was a time when 
I um to say I hated women's wrestling to say I detested women's wrestling was a gross understatement. Um, and I, I spoke it from the highest mountains proudly. Um, in the past, I would say five, uh, not even five, I would say probably four years. Not only have I changed my mind, I am a big fan of women's wrestling now. Um, I see what I see now is women working really, really hard mm-hmm. in that ring. Mm-hmm. I see. Um, be careful. I'll say the psychology. Uh, as dismal as psychology is in wrestling now. I see psychology starting to creep into women's wrestling during the match. Um, I can't, I, I, I can't help but be a fan and root for it because I want it to be even better. It's, it's coming up and it's coming up strong and it can do more. And I'm a huge fan. In fact, I've said this right now. I think Charlotte Flair is above and beyond the best wrestler, period, bar none, in the world today. Um, Second, I'd like to say Alexa Bliss, but I don't know. uh, Becky Lynch is looking really good right now. She's really coming into her own. Um, Those New Japan girls, too, man. They're tearing it up. They are nasty they they are tearing it up and we have got some thoughts on them coming up too can i can i extend that question just a tiny tiny bit more why did you detest women's wrestling at that time um i'll 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 tell you why um tell me why (laughs) papa dogs i (laughs) i thought that women's wrestling looked fake I I realize I realize what you're I have some news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I know about Santa Claus. Don't uh, tell him. Okay, Let that okay. sink in. <laughs> and it 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 made me angry because I thought I was like, why it, it's not I wasn't angry at the women. It was because they were given an opportunity and they did what they did. Yeah, don't blame the. It was um, impossible to suspend your disbelief. Mm. You thought it, yeah, because I saw the guys in there throwing it down, mm-hmm. and and then you would have a women's match and it looks horrible. Uh, I would argue because at the at the time I was watching wrestling because I didn't have anybody to look up to and it was really either China or Lita. Mm-hmm. You look at China or Lita and they have that more masculine quality about them. Mm-hmm. That's what made them fun to watch. Like they had that barbaric tendency and then a lot of the other ones like Stacey Keebler and like mm-hmm. they were just arm candy like yeah. a lot of the women back then were just arm candy to walk around be on the side of the ring and maybe get in there with another woman at some point but it was boring to watch because they were always promoted as like this is my wife this is my girlfriend you should fight blah blah mm-hmm. blah and I mean to that degree we're still kind of fighting that battle just a little bit, but people are standing on their own. Absolutely. And females are standing on their own as their own individual wrestling characters. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what I think from what I saw when I was a child to today. All right. Were you going to say something? <laughs> I saw you lean in. <laughs> One, it sounds like she's still mad about that intro, dogs. And two, <laughs> she's, she's right. I mean, honestly... You would think I was a teenager watching the Attitude Era, but I would switch away from that because it was just... Chris is 8,000 years old. You look good. You look good. <laughs> 35. Okay. <laughs> 
But no, I see what you're saying. But it, but it was just kind of like sorry. a... And pregnant pause. It was, okay. it was just kind of a... It, it did come off as like a dumb parody of what you were already watching. Right. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, while I'm watching this, I'm like, boy, the guys are, are, are trying so hard in there. And the women are in here in a bra and panties match, goofing it up. Mm. And it looks ridiculous. And it takes away the credibility of what these guys are doing. Now, I don't, again, I don't blame the women that were in there. They were given an opportunity and wrestling is not a job. Wrestling is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Uh, They were given an opportunity and they did what they had. Um, I blamed the federations that were putting that own at the time because I was like you're you're killing your own business by doing this make uh, until they get better make them dark matches keep them off of television nobody wants to see this garbage as a, and if they do they're not watching it for wrestling of course as a, they're, they're watching it for a little TNA and, and and it just it angered me because this was a sport that I sport this was entertainment that I felt very passionately about and I hated to see it getting mucked up. Mm. Nowadays, uh, I would argue, I wouldn't say half of the male roster, but it, I could definitely say a quarter of the raw of the male roster is struggling to keep up with the women. Ooh, baby. And, oh, baby. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of times when we've been watching that. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like we were all t- together more excited for the women's matches mm-hmm. on some most of the cards. Yeah. So, so, yes, I hope that answers your question, Anonymous. Um, Anonymous. And um, finally, Jennifer L. from Instagram said... Uh, That's a popular place. You are... Is it, I don't guess it was a question. I just wanted to put it on the air. You're too good looking to be 43 years old. <laughs> and I agree. So, <laughs> thank you, Jennifer L. And you should see him in a kilt. I didn't hear a question mark on the end of that statement. <laughs> You're too good looking to be 43. <laughs> okay, see, now you made it weird. It's <laughs> so now we've got some wrestling news we've got to get into. Uh, the first biggest thing that we want to talk about. Um, well, actually, let's get to some of the older stuff first. Uh, Before we take the tone down? <laughs> yeah, we do have to start out and take the tone down a little bit. We uh, lost uh, a dear member of the wrestling family uh, earlier last month in... Uh, uh, Dirty Dick Slater. Um, some people will remember him as the uh, as Captain Redneck. Um, always, always liked Dick Slater. Uh, he 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 was a bad man, and he he yeah, I know where you're going with that. But <laughs> go ahead, insert your comment. No, no, I just <laughs> I think it's funny because his name was Dirty Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm still 12 years old. But see, now, and here's the thing. I was, I don't know, six or seven. I thought nothing about it. I was like, oh, well, he's clear. He's clearly a hill. That's, (laughs) that's, he's dirty. Of course. It doesn't mean anything else. He's, he's dirty. Yeah. (laughs) What what else would you mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, he, uh, yeah, he passed away last month. Uh, I was very sad to hear that. Um, Let's keep the tone where it is. Um, John Cena and Daniel Bryan are out of Crown Jewel. Tell me Uh, this story. uh, This is in protest. That's the speculation. Okay. Uh, Neither one of them are giving real reasons, but it is highly speculated that they don't want to be a part of this. Because, and I don't want to make this podcast political. I hate that garbage. It's fake anyway. Um, <laughs> to work. But, <laughs> but no, I, I, I don't want to make it too terribly political. But I do say, um, I applaud John Cena for uh, taking a moral stance. Oh, I agree. Um, and to Daniel Bryan. Um, now, they just buried Cena quickly. On this, they just said, "Okay, he was supposed to be in the World Cup tournament," mm-hmm. uh, and they just said, "Well, Cena can't even show up, so we're subbing you out." And they said this on the air. Uh, we're so we're subbing on Cena what out air? 
on Raw. Oh, okay. On Raw. And said, we're subbing you out. So and they made a bit out of this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, because wrestling is petty. I mean, yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. yeah. It well, is. I mean, people are going to wonder why. So, you know. Okay. And Bobby Lashley is in. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's your dream come true, Chris. Pack all your sweatbands, Bobby. <laughs> 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 You're going to Shatter Raber. And Daniel Bryan is also out uh, for the same reason. He actually uh, was scheduled to wrestle AJ Styles for the world title. Yeah. Um, rumored that he was going to take the title. Um, now, you can call this lip service just making Daniel Bryan wanting to look that much better about this. Who knows what the real story is? Um but yeah, it's rumored that he was supposed to take the title in Saudi Arabia. Um, but they had their match uh, on SmackDown last uh, Tuesday night. So Daniel Bryan did the job. Uh, it was a hell of a match. It, it was fantastic. Um, but... Samoa Joe does a run in at the end of that. And uh, so now guess what we're going to have in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Damn your convictions, Daniel you know, Bryan. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, honestly, I say good for both of them. So what, yeah. what, what is their platform? Though? What is their real platform? Because to me, it sounds like they're taking a stance on the fact that, you know, there's a little bit of controversy surrounding crown there, jewel there's, there's and a cloud there's over this now. i yeah mm-hmm. there's clearly a political cloud there's clearly you know we just had an all women's pay-per-view mm-hmm. and now we're going to saudi arabia where women are very oppressed and mm-hmm. very you know property considered property there you know it's it's just it's very counterintuitive mm-hmm. so to have that very powerful pay-per-view of evolution and then to be like and now we're gonna go do this it's it's almost like a pacifier like oh, evolution the, oh, was no a mis- pacifier oh make no mistake that's exactly what evolution was and that's really sad it's because, sad like, but now I, I'm, I'm gonna turn this i'm gonna turn this negative into a positive you take that pacifier and then you did what that we got what we got uh, yeah that's, Sunday. that's very true that's very so, true um that's very true but at the same time like was it always scheduled to have a all women's card pay-per-view before crown jewel or did we already schedule crown jewel and the women found out that they couldn't go. And so now here's your pacifier of evolution. I, I would like to know that kind of. I think, uh, and, uh, and now I'm speculating, I think Crown Jewel came about after the Greatest Royal Rumble, which took place in Saudi Arabia as well. And, um, excuse which me. Which was when? That was uh, Chris. That was. Um, well, I, I didn't personally see it. I'm trying. Um... Oh my gosh! I want to say it was in it will, end of April. I was gonna say yeah, maybe? it's about that time frame, wasn't it? It was right after WrestleMania. Hmm. Yeah, it was like a it was like maybe four weeks after WrestleMania, hmm. and I think maybe a couple of months uh, later, April twenty seventh. Yeah, there you go. So there, hey, look at me knowing stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in a general sense, yeah. do you remember your own child's birthday? I I have a child. Oh shit. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. We'll we'll talk about it later. (laughs) He definitely wasn't a guest on the podcast either. (laughs) It was all an illusion. Anyway, so that's that's all I'm saying. Like, I would like to know why John Cena and Daniel Bryan decided, like, hey, this isn't for us. Was it because of the controversy that's already happening in Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Currently, or were they? I think it. Again, I, I I can't speak to what is in their heart, but sure. uh, they uh, it, it's been rumored that because of what's going on uh, mm-hmm. over there, uh, I think they're I think it's rumored that they're wanting to take a moral stance. Personally, I am of the opinion that this is uh, 
self-preservation. Okay. Uh, the la- when they did the Greatest Royal Rumble, a lot of people were talking about how they could not wait to get back on the plane. They said the vibe here is so unnerving. Because they're starved for content. Like, they don't yeah. get anything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, of course we're going to bring all the entertainment from... And yeah, I, I, I think, okay. and, and, and honestly, I, I don't blame them because I would be too, if I had to go over there and, and, and drop down to my underwear and, uh, and work in front of, uh, 20,000 people that I don't know how they feel about me and I don't know what they're going to try. Um, yeah, I feel like that's going to be a very weird experience for Bobby Lashley too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway. but so there's that, and also to put uh, a, just a little button on this to make it nice and cute, just recently announced, um, Cena's out, Daniel Bryan's out, Hulk Hogan is yeah. in. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I saw All that right. this morning. What? The immortal they to, one. They have to sweeten up the the pot right because like you know not really it's already sold it's sold show i know <laughs> but for people to pay for the pay-per-view to watch it i i suppose uh and it, yeah regardless of what your opinion is on I hogan all is forgiven <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. i i was listening to a podcast earlier today that said you know uh we're we're months away from seeing a chris benoit tribute <laughs> <laughs> I don't think okay. that's going to be <laughs> They're still editing him out I'm, of everything I'm, they I'm can. I, I know. I, laughed at that. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, Hogan's in, guys. So it's going to be a very interesting uh, pay-per-view. Incidentally, it's happening in less than 24 hours. Yeah. So now I'm not going to watch it as it. I'm not be watching it live. I'll be watching it what Saturday. What kind of fan are you? I'm the one that works for a living. <laughs> the old one. He gets oh. tired. Yeah. Can we talk about evolution now? We can. I just got just a little bit more. Oh I'm going to put my clothes back on and crack Hang this on. beer open. She, she's, okay. got a, she, she's got herself a Steve Weiser just for the occasion. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. And, um, Hang on. I got to take of, Speaking of other people being out, uh, Roman Reigns is out. Oh. Not of Saudi Arabia, out of the Fed. Uh, for those that have been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, Roman Reigns has been once again diagnosed with leukemia, and mm. uh, he has had to relinquish his uh, his universal title. Uh, very sad. Uh, you know, I, I've, I'm the first one to say that I have not been his biggest fan i'll be the second <laughs> although i will say those past these past yeah. couple months when he's been rejoining with the shield yeah, yeah. he's back in his element and i've been able to enjoy roman reigns matches mm-hmm. do you think he's happened. known since then though like do you how how long do you think he's known and he's actually been supported by I, other people and still Trying to push through until he couldn't push through anymore. I can't imagine more than a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Okay. I can't imagine. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming like some sort of regular checkup caught something. Yeah. That that would yeah. that would be my guess. Because they, they have to take their uh, their their uh, drug tests. Uh, mm. I want to say it's like every 20-something days. So, you know, maybe something came I, up then. I will say something to his credit and to the company's credit, and that is, um, that's the first I ever heard of him having to combat leukemia. Like, I, mm-hmm. he said he Yeah, I had no mm-hmm. idea. And yeah. I think the great thing about that is when they were trying to push him to the moon and make him the greatest thing since sliced bread, um, they never pushed that angle of he's a survivor. Yeah. Because there, there are plenty of times I could see them trying to milk that. Yeah, oh, thankfully, yeah. I'm, I'm glad he probably put the kibosh on that hard. Mm-hmm. I it, would have. That's something very personal. Exactly. Absolutely. But yeah, so Roman Reigns is out. Uh, we've also, we have had a lot of turns just in the past two weeks. And I don't know what kind of crack 
the the story <laughs> writers are are our own, but man, it's got to be amazing. Just I mean, just listen to this. Wait, have have, have you noticed any last names Russo pop up? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Oh boy. Uh, Bobby Lashley went heel. Uh huh. Kevin Owens went face. The Bellas. Did he? Well, how did Owens go face? Of uh, actually with Bobby Lashley, they turned same time. Oh uh, wow. Yeah. The Bellas. Went hill. I know that. <laughs> uh, Big Show went hill. I thought. I thought wait, he, retired. I thought he, thought he retired. retired. I know. Oh, well, you that, guys, no, a Big Show no. turn as long as he's working is not a surprise. No, I listen, know, right? that man needs to retire. It's he's. I'm sad. We might see him die in the ring. Oh, like, I'm scared of that. Nah, nah, he's. he's too I'm scared big. of that. When has a big man ever died untimely? Uh, hmm. <laughs> but he had the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, dead okay. giants. Right. If mm. he dies, who plays Andre in the biopic? <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> also, one of my favorites, Elias, has turned face. Aw. I'm who? How dare you? I like Elias. I Why is everybody I, I'm, Elias? I'm genuinely curious to see how that's going to work. Yeah, I really, honestly, it's the it's one of the better shticks yeah, that yeah. a character oh, yeah, yeah. that a wrestler has had, and I, I think you and I talked about this earlier too about how people have moved away from being an entity and they're just like they're given first and last names Mm -hmm. which is very difficult for me to keep up with like i until dean ambrose cut his hair i was just like (laughs) you know so like i just i don't know i don't like this first name last name business anymore i just like people getting their shtick on and being Mm -hmm. elias or being you know bray wyatt and like they they have great Atmospheres around them. Sorry, oh, they sorry to interject. I'm no, sorry, like, but I like Alliance. I'm with him. So how did how did how did that go? How did that happen? Uh, you can thank Baron Corbin for that one. <laughs> uh, Baron Corbin it told, might be the only thing I thank him for. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, See, I don't. I don't even. I can't even recall who that is. Right yeah, now. He's, he's the guy in a suit who wrestled Finn Balor. Uh, what? No, Bald okay. guy. Say, <laughs> so Finn, nope. Finn Balor needs to just stick with the Demon King and like. Just live that life. Cause well, that takes him three hours to put that stuff I'm on. I'm sure it does. Three but hours it's, well spent. It's no. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, go ahead. So <laughs> we all we already know uh, Braun Strowman went heel. Got his titty Super out. Super mega ultra heel, yeah. And then went back face. What? Wait. Wait. Uh, what? Well, because he's going to be working Brock Lesnar. Oh, why? Okay, why but ex- is he but still a thing? Please. Let that go away. Like, make that go <laughs> no. away, dogs. Well, it was going to be a... Well, they're big show. It was going to be uh, Strowman, uh, Reigns, Reigns Lesner. and Lesnar. Now it's going to be, since Reigns is out, now it's going to be Strowman and Lesnar. I hate that. And, of course, uh, Dean Ambrose went hill. Oh yeah, I did see that. That doesn't sound like something when Roman I, announced. Yes, oh, same God. night. It was like, such All right, a well, gut punch. Full steam ahead. Yeah, Fan, no, that was awesome. That's fantastic. It that's was. that's the way. Uh, and you know, he's been getting a lot of heat about that. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, the writers have been getting a lot of heat about it. Right. And I say, uh, phooey. Uh, yeah, fed to you. that. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's that ask epic. Roman if he's upset about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so, we've got through all the news. Let's get into it. Um, the first match that we had on this card was supposed to be Rhea Ripley versus Ginny. Uh, that's uh, two people from the Mae Young Classic. Mm. Uh, that match got bumped. And the reason that match got bumped is because of the lack of people that came to see Evolution. Even though they claimed that it was sold out. It uh, was not. It was not. It was very evident that it was not. Uh, That arena holds uh, about 15,000. And I was looking, the top tiers were not filled out. Yeah, th- there was it was about 70 percent full. Uh, There's a lot of spaces. They even turned the lights out uh, to give mm-hmm. it that old school effect, but mainly to mm-hmm. mask the fact that there wasn't anybody there. Yeah. Um, 
Well, I, I hopefully that will change if they. That can't if they be go, every pay per view though. Yeah, like, you know they're not all sold out. Well, no, you know, no. and I hope I would hope they continue going forward. They do it again, mm-hmm. and then I think from this they could build. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and you know, it was and the very first they, one ever. They rocked this it. brings me to a very interesting point. Um, those those boys in the writers' room, they or, or at least in the uh, promotional department, they might. Be geniuses. Uh, they have. I've been complaining for the past several weeks that I've been worried about it because they have put little to no push on evolution whatsoever. Uh, nobody, nobody really knew about it. Now, if nobody really knows about it and they have the caliber of pay per view that they had. And it explodes. Mm -hmm. Well, now we've got something to push and we have spent little to no money on this as far as marketing goes. That's fair. Yeah. Now, as I had, we pushed this thing to the moon and it failed. Well, okay. Then we look bad and then we don't ever do uh, another female pay-per-view and then we still look bad. And plus, the next time it rolls around, they can they can show off show this on to see what you missed last time. Mm-hmm. You should definitely check this out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they uh, Rhea Ripley, who I actually she was one of the few people in the May Young Classic that I really was digging. Uh, kind of hated to see her get bumped, but she did. So we started out with uh, Trish Stratus and Lita. Versus not Alexa Bliss, <laughs> who is out with another injury. I, or I think it's actually still the same injury that well, she. How, what is? How did she get hurt? Uh, Ronda Rousey. Oh, okay. that's no, uh, you don't have to elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. But yeah, she. I mean, she's been teetering ever since that happened. I, we want to say that's the same injury. I'm speculating. Mm. Um, so she was out that on the spur of the moment, I believe it happened either that day or the day before Alexa went out and uh, I almost called her Samantha Fox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Fox comes in to tag with Mickey James. Uh, I'm guessing they wouldn't clear. I loved it. I loved it. I mean, <laughs> I was not I when it. I saw Alicia Fox on this. My heart kind of sank a little you did. bit. Yeah, there were, there were some noises from your corner. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, I'll give the devil his due, uh, or She's in this case, her due. Her due, due. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't Fox know. brought it tonight. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. She the the whole thing it started really shaky, and that's I kind of blame that on the weave that she had. She had a weird, <laughs> way too long blonde weave going on that was getting in her eyes, and you know, and and, and you know, she couldn't see. Uh, she it needed all... some of that Bobby Lashley wig glue. Like yeah. she just she needs to share. Lita also, she looked like she was a little slower than she should have been uh, to start things out. Mm-hmm. Time is a harsh mistress, no dogs? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're too good looking to be 43. <laughs> <laughs> See how it just trails off. It's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> We're not even really here. We're just the ghosts of your past. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> this is all EVP. <laughs> I loved it, though, because going back to, you know, mm-hmm. like, do I remember any female, like, what's my earliest memory of, of wrestling? I can't honestly say any female stood out mm-hmm. but Lita. So little 12-year-old me was really excited to see her and Trish Stratus come back and, yeah. like, to still work. I mean, I they, I loved it. They did a, that was a, for them to be out of action. And to be put in the ring with subpar workers, I can't complain about this match. Uh, it was it was a good start. Uh, the one thing that that's in my head, the the one thing that brings 
that, that I'm thinking about was uh, when uh, Alicia Fox gets knocked out of the ring and all three of them gather over <laughs> to each other. They're waiting on the double suicide dive that's about to come. Right, right. And Bliss and James peaced out. <laughs> just <laughs> Alicia Fox just takes a butt bump and then just sits there kicking yes, like a turtle. Yes. Oh, she turtled. It was amazing. My I, leave. It's too heavy. I can't get out. She, she did. She, like, she saw it coming. She went back. She started screaming. It's, oh, my God. But that's the no, theatrics. Like, it, yes. Oh, that's, it was great. That's what it, it was, was there no, for. I, I, I said turtle when I first saw it. It's like a fainting goat. She just kind of <laughs> locked up in place. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bonk. my defense mechanism. <laughs> And again, I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm a tip of the cap to Alicia Fox. One of the most beautiful Northern Light suplexes yeah. with that tip bridge that I have ever seen a female ever do. It was spectacular. Was smoother than butter. Oh man! Uh, now the go home. Uh, Help me out because I'm starting to uh, the day is starting to wear on me, and I'm forgetting the go home on this one. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> I, I must be lonely. Um, no, the uh, the go home on this was the uh, uh, it, it was the, uh, the 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 oh boy, Trish Stratus and, and the uh, Bulldog. The Stratus no, not the Stratus faction. The um, Stratosphere. Stratosphere. That's it. Or wait a minute, wait. that might be Stratus faction and the. Uh, and the Hurricane Rana from the corner okay. might be the stratosphere. I think, I right. think it is. I think yeah. you're right. I think you're right. Uh, they, uh, that, so we get the uh, the Stratisfaction Bulldog. Lita hits the moonsault on Mickey James Ooh, and glorious. on Alicia oh, yeah, Fox. It was a double one. That's right. So yeah. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Uh Lita looked great. No hesitation there either. No, no. Just, she got up there and just fucking did it. Pretty, it awesome. good, pretty good match. I can't say a lot bad about it. There was a few flubs here and there, but for the most part, a decent way to start the pay-per-view. Oh, I yeah. gave it to Meltzer's. Um, so we move on to the Battle Royal. Now, again, the, guys, this is where my heart sank because I had a problem with this Battle Royal because you've got some... Big time players in this that are only in this royal. That, yeah, we could have spread that out. We could have put ten matches together here and mm -hmm. made this a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, no, shut up. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like somebody had to suggest that, right? And they was like, "Look, um, <laughs> if we don't throw Ember Moon in here and Tamina and Carmella, then they're just gonna everybody's gonna call this a squash match and." Uh, but as I, we all kind of knew what was going to happen here because they're pushing Nia Jax in this battle royal. Oh. So we kind of know what's, oh, yeah. we kind of know how this is going to go. Mm -hmm. um, the Iconics, guys. Oh, the. Okay. They're, gro they're growing on me. They're growing they on me. They are. I, <laughs> the, I, I, I know I, I'm I got not it. supposed to, but I kind of like them. I, I am, I'm I, starting to like the Iconics. I got, I, I got a better. I, just, I got a better feeling for it this time than I did at the Super Show, yeah. mm -hmm. and they, they I think they worked it better and they made it more self aware. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's it's working on me. Mm -hmm. it, it the the first three or four times I saw them, and I had heard great things about them from NXT. Yeah. Uh, and when I saw them, I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't get that. It's I don't, a carbon I don't, copy I don't, of the belt is like yeah, the I, amount I, of I red and black that I saw at Evolution. <laughs> I was just it's sick like, to my stomach. It's like a very self aware parody of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a parallel universe. Like their toilet water goes a different way. Our toilet water <laughs> goes a different way. So yeah. like they, you know, Bizarro Bellas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're yin and yang. And then you know, uh, I noticed that uh, uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Uh, Okay, they, they look like they've got... They can actually do some work in there. Yeah. Um, again, it's a battle royal. Um, and for the past four, five, six weeks, I haven't seen a lot that's impressed me. Uh, I did see some things. Uh, the, this battle royal. Uh, you know, I'm, it takes a big man to admit 
when he might possibly be wrong. Kind of couch that. And that well. big man is right here doing a podcast. <laughs> a lot of qualifiers on that statement. Yeah. Um, so. Would you put your wiener away? No. Okay. No. Keep looking it's at a, it. It's his, apo- <laughs> it's his apology it's flash. It's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> It's writing letters to the editor. <laughs> Nia Jax um, goes over. I don't have a lot of notes. It's a battle uh, royal. Um, yeah, yeah, and it was pr- well, fairly chaotic. Uh, y- you know, like I go for it. As, say things. For, well, I will say some words. Um, <laughs> I I think it's a testament to how far we've come to mm-hmm. see just the amount of females that walked out on stage yeah. like i hope i look like ivy when i'm her age oh totally like, she looked we, we hope, great we we hope it you're was... not as crazy as ivory oh, uh, uh, oh i'm sorry <laughs> ivory um i hope i'm not as crazy as her either but you know getting <laughs> oh knocked God, around a bit it might jostle my brain again. but like the amount of people in that ring that were from different backgrounds and different mm-hmm. legacies and different ethnicities and different body shapes and sizes. I think that's a testament to see all of those women in the same ring to say, this is it. This is how far we've come. And a big girl gets oh, to yeah. win. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah, I'm sorry to say, but for a long time, it was a blonde, big booby, you know, <laughs> The, woman that kind of always took precedent over everybody else. That and was, not that there's anything wrong with yeah. big booby blonde women, but at the same time, for a lot of people, they identify with wrestling as somebody that they can relate to. Right. right. So the fact that a bigger girl like Naya won the battle royal, I I, I think shows that they're okay with like not putting the stereotypical Barbie looking girl over and absolutely. I and it's time. Uh, yeah. I appreciate I mean, you know, I, Amber I, Moon being in there because she was great. I, I will, I, I will disagree with you a little bit because even okay. back in the eighties we had Mount Fuji. Uh, that's, that's very correct. And, and, and uh, um, mama who uh, in glow, it was Mount Fuji no, I want to say uh, she, I, I want to say it was Big voodoo. Bad Mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was a big lady mm-hmm. too, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, Glow doesn't have the kind of airtime that we have now. That's true. So pushing that forward for a long time, when 12 year old me was watching wrestling, it mm-hmm. was if I don't look like Stacy Keebler, I'm not going to be able to do this. Right now, it's I can look like Ember Moon, I can look like Nia Jax, I can look like Oscar, and be here in mm-hmm. this universe. And, and I think know, that's we, awesome. We can, I can even take it a little bit forward, uh, at least into the two thousands where, uh, moving over to TNA impact, uh, where you had people like ODB, uh, who was mostly muscle, but a, a big woman known nonetheless, an awesome Kong. Um, uh, I wish she'd work, which out. was only mildly racist. Um, <laughs> it's, well, okay. It's, so I don't, I don't know I uh, about about WWE. those, uh, about those wrestlers, but I'm, I'm saying that just as a federation, as a platform, we've come so far to allow a lot of different people mm-hmm. to show their stuff, and I think that was evident in the battle royal because it was just oh, it most a definitely was sling around fun epicness that. You were actively, I know we were all sitting on your couch, actively screaming for the yes. person we wanted to win. And that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, while we're talking about it, yeah, I do have a couple of comments on it. Uh, uh, Carmella also has gone face. I forgot to include her in this. Oh, Did yeah. she? Uh, for the most part. That was yeah. very loud. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. <laughs> I <And> heard you. <laughs> she, uh, you know what? I'm for it. She's she's doing her dancing thing. Yeah. She's hanging out with our truth. I've I've loved our truth for a long time now with the little, ever since the little Jimmy thing started. Mm-hmm. And I, I I'm a fan. Uh <laughs> and she's starting to do what what is that dance that The floss. 
the floss? Is that yeah. what it's? Are you the are floss. you messing with me, or no, is that I really what it's called? No, uh, it's called flossing. I mean, I have no choice but. To I know what it. the kids are all about these days. <laughs> They're about the flossing and their Facebooks <laughs> and the Snapchats, where your face becomes a dog. <laughs> All but right. this podcast is about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the flossing that that karma. Yes. <laughs> well, now it's not cool anymore well, because older people are doing it, and I, the kids are gonna shy away from I it. I know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go no. and try to learn it. Well, I, that's just it. Like I don't have the coordination to do any of that business. I don't, it feels I know like the Pee Wee Herman dance. You're actively trying, but your weeder's getting in the way. So you're... Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> so. Nia Jax goes over a little bit of a feud with Ember Moon. Uh, can't really tell if anybody's going heel or face on this, but it kind of looks like uh, Tamina and Ember might be leaning heelish. Uh, again, more more changes, um, more heel turns. Uh, what are are we that out of balance that we have to do this? Every single week, we, we've got to keep changing it up. Uh, it's, it, it's, I, I, I find it strange. I mean, am I wrong in this? Uh, okay. <laughs> I really, You're looking at Chris, but is that a, the, it's his favorite buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think this goes back to the conversation we had a few weeks ago too about pushing a story Mm -hmm. and how a lot of the female wrestlers haven't had a story Mm -hmm. to push a lot like what they're trying to do with the uh the male wrestlers so maybe it's a new dawn of writing techniques that they're hopefully venturing into maybe i i just i've had a lot of turns (laughs) i mean i mean just just looking at the sheet we're we're at 10. I mean, in two weeks. That is a lot of turns. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it's a lot. But, yeah, we've got uh, Battle Royal. I gave it three Meltzers. Um, Ooh, I was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun for a Battle Royal. I expected to give it a Meltzer and a half, two Meltzers. Uh, yeah, we're, I'm going three on it. Moving on to. Hold on. What's that? Let me get, my, run, let me get my rundown real quick. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of trying to jump in. Oh, you guys are having no, no you guys are having you guys are having fun. I didn't want to interrupt. You guys are having fun. I didn't want to interrupt because I can't. I'm incapable of doing it when you oh, guys get going. Oh, it's sorry. fine. It's all right. You should interject. No. Well, I, I tried. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just. What would get, you like to say, Chris? I have several things to offer. Oh, for well, them. <laughs> First of all, I, okay, please well, tell it's us. It's time for an ad break. Mm-hmm. Everything Yay! this week's sponsor is. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Uh, I've, no, my I apologies. Don't want to. <laughs> all right. Well, I just wanted to say, I was like, that was a whole bunch of fun to watch for all the reasons you said. Well, to Katie's point, I want to jump back. It's like what she was describing was very much definitely early mid 2000s uh, until they finally started shaping up wrestling that was the divas division yes that was the entirety of it it had the butterfly belt it was abysmal and they had they had well they weren't long or very interesting they had battle royals with the entire division before and there mm-hmm. were so many blondes <laughs> you could hardly pick out who was playing yeah mm-hmm. like it was and it always ended up turning into uh, a bra and panties match nine times out of ten anyway something like that yeah. and then there was the diva search and this is even more wasted air time uh, yeah. um but i really liked the match uh one uh, carmella being brunette now blew me away a little bit right <laughs> i did not expect that at all so she got tired of being blonde <laughs> <laughs> um molly holly i was always uh, it's awesome yeah, to see her molly's great gra- how do you not love great. molly holly she's, oh. she's i wish she could have been in there just a little bit longer she's such a delight and but she has this energy and just joy radiating off her that belies her she she, she looks eviler than she intends to be because she has a really short haircut <laughs> yeah. and she's she's still very much ripped and she's still in mm-hmm. shape and ready to kick ass mm-hmm. yeah and then she just has but she has, has this joy radiating off her at the same time that's that's what made me so excited about that is seeing yeah. all the oldies but goodies so excited to walk out there 
again. Ivory like was so happy. Oh man, it was it was really fun. I, or maybe I, she was I, just I, seeing dragons in the Coliseum. I, like, I think you know, Ivory was, was happy crazy. to get a paycheck to get some of that booger <laughs> sugar. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't know what mean. that means. <laughs> I'm scared to ask. I don't want to ask. What else do you have to contribute? <laughs> um, who was the one that hid under the ring? There were two. There were, I mean, like, because. Oh, that was. Uh, Bridge uh, Trolls. Uh, z- <laughs> <laughs> no, the Iconics oh. got tossed out first. <laughs> what was, the, what was her name? Okay, I was totally 100% Z- in with the Iconics when they made the comment about everyone else having terrible voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, I, I know what you're doing. You're great. Uh, yeah, that was a lot Long of Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what, yeah, one of the NXT girls was did this. Did the, no, it was uh, the was it? manager of oh, okay. uh, CN, uh, uh, of CN Almas. And, uh, oh, okay, okay. And her name just fell out of my head. Uh, she did the classic hide under the ring. Mm-hmm. I like that. She got in. She thought she knocked him over. She's not. She is not awful. Um <laughs> Oh. The girl uh, in the green? Yeah. Praise oh, her yeah. Dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She She's, showed up at the last minute. Mm-hmm. She she hasn't shown me a lot here in the past few weeks, just as uh, what I have seen from her working a match. Uh, kids got spunk. Uh, she, <laughs> She's got moxie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say poor Asuka, because uh, she know. she was number four, the, the four, one of the last four, but she got tossed first out of that four. And um, I, I think it's nothing short of a travesty that Asuka only worked that battle royal and then she took it to the house. Absolutely. I, yeah. When is she going to get a belt? I'm, <laughs> I'm rooting for her. I, she's I, nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's why they're, again, they're speculating on uh, women tag division. Uh, Let's do it. I'm I, here for it. I thought. We were going to unveil the women's tag division at Evolution. Mm. Um, she could do it herself if they give her a chance, but oh, they're, I, I mean, they they pushed her to the moon, and now they now now they just took it all away from her, and now they're giving it to. Uh, but they're not the really, moon. Well, <laughs> so, they're not really of. making her a face or a heel though. She's just kind of in limbo, which yeah. is frustrating as a fan to watch. I think she's a face based on how they paired her with Naomi and mm-hmm. how they've been how she's okay. been acting because she she's been being been being allowed to display that more fun side of her personality mm-hmm. that more. Mm-hmm. Because uh, with that and the stuff they've had her doing lately, I think they have her as a face. They like learning don't... English. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's getting better. She yeah, is. she's getting, she's doing great. She is, and she's um, one of my favorites. Yeah, speaking of Moon, uh, they, Ember Moon had a really strong showing. They, I they love her. Uh, they yeah, she's her fantastic. Great. They They're gonna be pushing her hard. She's she didn't get to win, but she nasty. had such a strong showing. That's clear. They want something. They want something more. Yeah. For and they're and looking then, for it. They're they're doing a uh, they're pushing a feud with her and Naya. At least the short term thing. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. In the interim for uh survivor series and to me i didn't know she was making her return at the at the at the battle royal but so she got to come in and just bulldoze and and be a badass in general which is really nice to see Mm -hmm. and then yeah naya naya took it and she did great and it looks like they're also pushing uh tamia tamina yeah uh for uh, a a little something again another short-term push uh we'll We'll see if to, any of that. I guess to reestablish her in some way. In some way, I it. don't like Tamina. Um, she doesn't like you either. That's. I mean, she, well, I, she won't return my phone calls, so I assume not. Uh, <laughs> well, quit looking in her windows at night. Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> <laughs> no, they she don't. Did, she did not. Res- she, I mad. pushed over that ladder too many times. <laughs> he's mad. She didn't. She didn't respond to his letter that was cut out from magazines. And oh God. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was tasteful. Inappropriate. It was a. It was a. T- <laughs> Iconic. Inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a. It was a. T- <laughs> I can't finish the joke. Oh, Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. So yeah, uh, three uh, Meltzers for the Battle Royal. Really good. Oh, yeah. Very very yeah. entertaining. It was tastefully uh, threatening. That's where I was trying to get to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Next we have the. Uh, the final, uh, the finale for the, uh, almost called it the finally. The fin- um, <laughs> I like that. The final finale? <laughs> I can't. I have a finally to get to. <laughs> the finale uh, for the May Young Classic. 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 Boy, You're I, drunk. That's, uh, all right, it's time to go home. Let's 
So we had Io Shiro. Uh, boy, nope. I'm not even going to try. Nope. <laughs> My Sharona? I, I Shiro. Shir- is that how you say it? Oh, man. I don't know. I can't, I'm sorry. Well, all you of our. Written down yeah. there? Let me, let me She's try. Japanese, right? I'm yes. sorry. All Japanese listeners, help us. Um, this is blank. Um, no. <laughs> I, uh, Shirai. I think Shirai is the Shirai? way. Yeah, versus Tony Storm. Ooh. Yeah. I owe Shirai versus Tony Storm. Tony Storm is a monster. Uh, just tearing it up out there. Both of them. I mean. <laughs> this is going to sound mean, but she's got the face of one. <laughs> Oh, I don't mean not no. She don't, she made some she I made some rather unfortunate ugly. decisions with her ugly. expressions. I, I, um, I don't mean she's ugly. I, mean, oh. I she just cannot control her facial expressions when she's in the middle of a match. She, yeah, we got to work on that. She um. is just, she's <laughs> she's expressing everything she's feeling right at that moment. I it take is, a personal slight at that only because the other people in the room said that I favored her and no, I just no. who said that? What all the other women in the room? They I think. They yeah, meant- they were like, "Oh yeah, your your uh, they, they your just- facial expressions, your intensity is just like hers." Yeah, but you did that. Okay, you're purposeful okay. with your. Okay, well let's clarify. But I don't look uh, like a angry shovel. Not unless you want to. <laughs> unless that's a acting choice that you make. But that's what her face looked like. It was so angry. They it seemed like the faces that she was making were not inappropriate. Were not appropriate for the particular moment at least she was reacting (laughs) she was reacting and well she should have because those two put on a rest like that first 10 minutes was just it was awesome that was a wrestling clinic absolutely you rarely i don't think that i have really ever seen a chain wrestling match by two women Mm -hmm. like that ever and oh my god God, it was impressive. And the, and the, some of the things they did were were really great at turning wrestling conventions on their head. Tony did something. Uh, Io followed her to the ropes after she threw her to drop down mm-hmm. so that Tony would jump over. Tony changed directions and came at her from the other end, which you don't really see. I got that in my notes. Uh, yeah. One of the things I want to talk about, her changing direction right there. I mean, and usually you want to hit the ropes around the middle she stopped, I mean, just as she bounced off and headed towards uh, the other rope to get a better angle. I mean, it was wow. it's just nothing kind of, short of perfection. It's that kind of thing I appreciate because it's like as much as I love like a, a standard, you know, I can I'll go along with the standard tropes in wrestling. because It's like, hey, this is wrestling world. This is how things go. Wrestling logic is something I always hear talked about. It's like. Like, like, why would you do that? Uh, it's wrestling, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, but to see that changed up and see someone do something that's like, oh, well, why would I just do that when I can do the smart thing? Mm-hmm. Is always great to see too. And you saw uh, there was a lot of that during this match. There was just a couple things, and I'm gonna mess this up because I don't have it in my notes. But uh, there was a uh, Io had pulled a leg lock. Uh, on storm and at one point she stuck one foot just right above the ankle just to try to push it away yes Mm -hmm. and she does as she pushes it away i kicked it out and just and locked it right back in and Mm -hmm. i was like i was like see that's just that's that's brilliant Mm -hmm. that's that's how you work baby that's that's good stuff Another thing that I had is, have you seen a more beautiful moonsault in your life? My God. She jumped up there with the speed of a video game character. Mm-hmm. It, shades of RVD. Yeah. Just uh, up there and then off. There was mm-hmm. no hesitation or steadying herself. She was up and ready. And it landed perfectly. It's, uh, you know, Charlotte Flair does a, a pretty damn fine uh, moonsault. Nine times out of ten, she lands on her feet almost steadily. Sticking the landing too perfectly. Uh, there was a little bit of stumble and then the collapse with it. It just it made it. It brought the the legitimacy out in the moonsault. It was oh, it was beautiful. Because I I was nicknamed was was what the the title she had was um, something of the Captain. sky. Oh yeah. oh. Uh, Wait, is that was that her? No no no. no, no, no that's I'm another sorry. one. Kyrie, uh, I'm thinking of Kyrie. That's later. Okay, yeah, that is later. It's like when she's in no. Oh, she's yeah, something, something of the sky. Because uh, once she's up there, she can't be 
beaten or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, so, something of that nature. And then when they were out on the apron, um, that's always she, really scary. <laughs> Io gives the sickest headbutt yeah. I have ever seen. Usually in wrestling, you see a little pull back and then you know you drop the head but no there was none of that it was just head down boom and <laughs> i mean to the point to where it made my it made me a little sick i was like oh mm-hmm. oh she got hit mm-hmm. <laughs> um no it, it, I, I absolutely love this match um Tony Storm goes over, uh, winner of the May Young Classic. I cannot wait for these two to come up to the main roster and be a part of this show. This is only going to elevate. Uh, I think they they both got a little bit of work to do uh, in NXT, and let's coach them up a little. Let's uh, to show them a, a couple things, and uh, I think we're going to have a couple of firecrackers there. It's uh, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I uh, this one I gave it a well deserved four Meltzer rating. Um, that's, that's solid. And I would have given it five, but uh, there there was a couple little flubs in the match, and it goes back to my own critique about as, if you if you knew how to talk off the cuff. You guys wouldn't get lost. Hmm. Uh, to, to call it in the ring. Uh, you think some of that is nerves, though? Like, no, do, do I think we that's the jitters? style. No, I think that's the style that we're okay. in now. Um, a lot of people just they, they they don't call it in the ring anymore, and that's that's passe now. Uh, hmm. Why would you do that when we have all this time to choreograph some moves and call some spots like that? Mm-hmm. Um, Genius of the sky. Sorry. Genius of the Sky. That's there you the go. One. Okay. Sorry, that's what I've been doing for the a past A worthy minute. title. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic stuff. It was a fantastic match. A great ending. Mm-hmm. Storm only had a mild meltdown as she was being given the trophy. Right. <laughs> she she was just so excited. And I could just tell she was so happy. And you know, just, how long had they worked on that? She you was know? A, yeah. and just, just a couple of young in, kids. To be in, a, in front of a crowd of people for the just very a small first town pay-per-view girl. that was all woman card. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> no, but you're right. She's living in a lonely world. No, yeah. I mean, probably I, I probably didn't have the money to, to even get there. Probably had to take a midnight train. That's the... Going where? Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad. This was Yay! fun. This so was fun too. So yeah. much fun. I'm um, a hugger. <laughs> how do you not love Bailey? She looked fantastic she during did. this whole match. Uh, she also. Uh, I don't know if you caught this or not. Did you notice that she had some face paint on? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. What was yeah, it? she had uh, on one side, she had the uh, face paint with the little swirls coming up. Yeah. Okay. It was very, um, very esque, I would say. It was very, like. Well, it was a tribute <gasps> to somebody that I've talked to you about. Uh, one of, of my favorite. Uh, female wrestler slash manager slash ballet. Oh, Sherry. It was a sensational it was a Sherry. Sherry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, I was That's distracted really nice. by, yeah, it is. I was distracted by the, the riot squad's Halloween outfits. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they did really well there. Yeah, no legit. So, so much good. But that's, that's really squad. cool. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, I, I, I love that. I, I love the fact that that was, I, I didn't catch it the first time. Uh, I caught. I, I had to come back and watch it a, a second time, and I was like, "I was like, oh, look at that!" And uh, then I had to go check the dirt sheets on that, and it turns <laughs> out, yes, that is, that was a Aww. tribute to Sensational Sherry. That's cool. Loving me some Sherry Martell, by God. Um, I gotta. I I can't. I can't say any. I, I love Sarah Logan. I, ju- I I love her and her Viking self. Yeah. Just <laughs> talk about a firecracker. Just whooping ass yeah. all over the place. She 
timed this baseball slide so perfectly. Oh, yeah. While Bailey does another tribute to Roman Reigns with the uh, with the drop kick through the apron. Yep. She does. She goes to do that and met with a baseball slide drop kick from Sarah Logan right into the turn post. Yes. Brutal and beautiful. I, I it was love brutal. it. Brutal. Brutal. Shut up. It's happening. <laughs> Making up words. <laughs> uh, Bailey. Uh, I had one more. Uh, Actually, uh, the other thing is Ruby Riot mm-hmm. has been doing this scent on bomb uh, for a, a, a number of months now. I'm not going to be kind about this. I hate that scent on that she does. Okay. She misses them entirely. You can see so much daylight out of it. It, it, it pisses me off. Nobody has set her down and say, hey, look, why don't you, why, why, don't, why don't you either find another move or, or, or or, or hit them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's Ruby Riot is flawless in the ring. I mean, brutal. She can work. She's technically sound, but she misses that senton by a foot every time. And she did it twice during this match. <laughs> and it just, it, it makes my eye twitch. <laughs> when I see it. Well, at least they saved that one spot. Uh, was, was it Nikki? That uh, tried to do a dive to the outside on them. Um, one one of the oh no, that was Sasha. Sasha, okay, sorry. I, I, I'm like, Sasha, yeah, Sasha was trying to do a dive to the outside on the riot squad, mm-hmm. and she fell short, and they caught her. So then they improvised and slammed her into the barrier. Yeah, and uh, that went. That was a really good save. Very, and again, just a testament to how good those three are. Uh, yeah, guys, you don't sleep on the riot squad. I hear a lot of hate about them. Uh, these girls are solid. I mean, they're, they're, they're white hot. The, you, I think um, if we coach Sarah Logan up, I think we're talking about uh, a future A-lister. I mean, uh, I, I think she's, I think she's got that potential. She's, she's got that something. I, I, I can see it in her. Uh, however, you know, this, uh, this match was a lot of fun, a lot of botch spots, and the story didn't really go anywhere. Um, as for that reason, I could only I can only do two melters. Although I had a lot of fun watching the match. Well, that's, that's the thing is like this is the type of match that it's fun enough that you just you see those those spots that don't work out super great, you don't care. It's mm-hmm. right. It's like eh, whatever. Yeah. There's an element of forgiveness as long as you're having fun. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and yeah. that's why. And not to mention, I just, I have a, I absolutely love Bailey. I think Sasha Banks is tremendous. And uh, I got a lot of respect for Natalia. And everybody in the ring utilized the tagging to a perfect T. They, they were, really did. They, they really utilized the, you know, you know, as soon as someone came back, they would tag out. They would tag them and jump mm-hmm. in. And like, it was just so quick tags and jumping so much energy. It was it, it was it was old school tag team wrestling mm-hmm. and and it was it was nice to see. Uh, and that, yeah. that also makes it more forgivable to me because it's like this is this this match when you have six people and you have them going at it. It's supposed to be a little chaotic and that make and honestly botches or mis- or a little bit of a flub flies right by me because it's like mm-hmm. this is supposed to be kind of chaos. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, I feel that I just, I just that's me personally my internal logic for it. It's just like. Okay, no, I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving because it's like they're all, you know, it's supposed to be high paced and intense, and it's like you're rushing, your adrenaline's pumping, you're gonna get in there and maybe go too hard and miss something, and then you gotta, re- you know, recover. Yeah, it adds to the drama for me. I can, I can dig, I can dig what you're saying. Uh, so yeah, now we got to move on to uh, Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Besler. I keep forgetting her name until she's brought up. <laughs> uh. Yeah, she uh, Baszler is a uh, former UFC uh, fighter. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, her and Jessica. No, I just Duke. realized. Like yeah. I just saw her face in my head and got scared. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> ang- oh, she angry. Oh no, yeah, she she's real angry. She real angry. Yeah, they, those are. Uh, she's mad at that pirate. Two princess. of uh, with Ronda Rousey makes Christmas the four horsewomen uh, from UFC. 
And who were present? No, no. They were, they Somebody were, was they were. in the uh, audience, right? Je- Jessa Mae Duke was in the audience. Okay. Um, her fray frays. Yeah. Her best fray frays. <laughs> her besties. So we start out, um, again, we started out so strong with this. Uh, they did the, the, uh, the, uh, the the actual arm plant from Carrie mm. and where she bent the arm back oh, and yeah. just, oh my. There was a lot of arm play in this match that I was petrified of. I, only because I, knowing Rhonda's reputation of snapping mm-hmm. people's arms and knowing that that chick was also a former USC fighter, I was I was scared for the pirate princess. I, 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 was like, I think thankfully, cause she's been in there longer. She's had time to learn more control. Yeah. My biggest thing with Basler, uh, and I'm going to call her, I'm going to change the pronunciation of her name. Every single time I say it, what's the brouhaha with Brasler <laughs> with Brassa Haller. Um, no, I, she, she looks like she's capable in the yeah. ring. Yeah. She doesn't look like she get, she cares mm. about what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, she looks like she's there for a check, and and that's about it. And you know, it may be just the character that she's created. Uh, I could be way wrong about angry, this. Angry, 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 angry. I yeah. I, I I think I can I can say it may be the character because I saw her I saw more of her playing along with with things than I mean uh, slightly but yeah. I'm, I I need if I want to pull for her because I watched her in UFC mm-hmm. I'm a fan um, I need more mm-hmm. uh, I I I need her to develop a character and I need to see it. Uh, uh, I, I I need it to to unfold, and then I need it to mature. You know, as she moves through That's the fair, ranks yeah. of, I mean, of her wrestling career. Uh, but, and you know, and I just didn't get that. Uh, the match, on the other hand, was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and the pirate, what's her name? Kyrie Pir- Sane. Ky- Kyrie, Kyrie Sane, the yes. pirate princess. She she studied. <laughs> um, was it the Guerrero style of wrestling? Uh, it yeah. Was some, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I was really encouraged because there was a very short promo before the match even started about the both of them. And I was really excited to know that she had idolized and really studied the Guerreros and how they wrestled. So oh, yeah. I was really anticipating her pulling out some of those wrestling moves. And yeah. she did. And she did. And it was really good. It and was uh, good. you can see you, you can see a lot of the Guerrero uh more Hector than say Eddie or Chavo, True. but uh, uh, yeah, you can you can really see uh, Hector's influence come out in her. Uh, it was nice to see um, the go home. Well, I thought was a little interesting because uh, we got Jessamay Duke involved in. That's because at one point Kyrie threw uh, Brezhnev into the uh, chucked her, <laughs> chucked her into the stand. Into <laughs> yeah. her. I mean that little that little youngin. <laughs> Grabbed that big old girl and tossed her. <laughs> <laughs> she donkey conked her. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and and into that that, that must, there was another woman who was there in a in a pink outfit. I don't I can't I don't know who that was. But she, apparently she, she was part of it. She was mm-hmm. with the company at least because because yeah. <laughs> she got hit. But too. she got yeah. the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she pieced out quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she comes in and uh, tosses her out. Well. Jessa Mae Duke grabs her, turns around, and just bip with a backhand with the John Cena sixth move of doom. Uh, <laughs> she didn't power up for herself. <laughs> Doesn't have to. Trained by the Guerreros. She was powering up the whole time in the background. Right. By his Dragon Ball. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ew. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. So she goes into a... a she she goes in the ring, starts to take it home. She goes uh, 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 up to the top rope. Get, Jessamay runs in, gives her another uh, back fist. Mm-hmm. They go into this roll up uh, where uh, 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 Basler kicks out. She kind of bounces off, 
And there's Jessimate who just seemed to pop up out of nowhere and just bip and Cole Cox or Baszler gets her for the one, two, three. Okay. And this is, oh, okay. So this is where <laughs> she, okay. She, she puts her in the submission and it turns out it's the classic. She can't, you know, she's not going to tap out, but she's fading too fast. And so mm-hmm. she's out. So she, so she's kind of knocked out. Yeah. And it's just, it's the classic, oh, she's out. So she didn't really give up, but she couldn't keep going. And so it's the classic, you know, she, you know, she wasn't really truly a hundred percent beaten, beaten. She was just overwhelmed by the circumstances. Right. So normally in a match, you demonstrate, the ref will demonstrate this as a visual cue for the audience. Mm-hmm. You raise the arm once, it drops. <laughs> You raise the arm so twice, it drops. Now, if the match is going to keep going, when you do the the third arm, if it drops you gotta, three times, you got to take a step towards yeah the ring, right? So just in case the person that rings the bell can't see you, you right. got to move towards them <laughs> because the third drop means if it drops, then they're out, then they have to call it. Right. And normally, if the match is going to continue, it drops and uh, oh, it's back up, yeah, and they're still in it. Or it drops the third time and they're out. Well, is that what happened here, Chris? Let me tell you what happened here, dogs. <laughs> the, uh, apparently, Kyrie's mom was the ref, and she needed to wake her up so they could go to Grandma's. Uh, so she gently grabs her fist and nudges it a little bit, like three or four shakes. Not even hard, just kind of rolls it a little bit. And then ring the bell. She's out. Like Just, what the hell was that? I believe the uh, the analogy that you gave that night was that of she uh, the computer had went into sleep mode and you had to move the mouse. That wasn't uh, me, but someone said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that doesn't no, that doesn't work. It just like. <laughs> I don't care how close you have the camera. I don't care if it's up on there. It's a big visual cue for everyone up in the nosebleeds that, oh no, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna be considered out right. unless oh no, and it's like you. But see, I t- now I I watched a little bit of the man class. I've been watching that ref. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to say that she's terrible. <laughs> but what I am going to say is I'm not a fan of anything that I have ever seen her do, nor will I ever be. <clears throat> there. <laughs> she's not terrible, but here's a list of synonyms I found. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I will say what's really interesting about, well, what from the, the package that showed the lead up to this match, mm-hmm. the, one of the interesting things about the point of this match is it's kind of inter- a kind of um, is, is a clash of philosophies for like WWE at large. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is here's Kyrie Sane who wants to come out and wrestle as a pirate. She that's the fun thing for her to do. Yeah. When she's in the ring, this is her thing. Almost uh, a, an anime pirate. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, she's Japanese, of course. <laughs> it's One Piece. It's very much live action One Piece for her. Cause she, oh my yeah. god, she walked out to the ring in her get up and she had her title in a in a treasure chest that she opened up and took out. It was great. <laughs> I did love that. Yeah. It's like that there's there's that flair, that showmanship, mm-hmm. that that fun. And then and then here's Brizalewski and <laughs> <laughs> um and she is in the ring and she you know, she's from MMA where it's all super real and it's intense and it's about the fight and she hates the fact that she's a pirate. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's she's a real person, damn it. No one's gonna take my booty without <laughs> Fight me for it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like. <laughs> yeah. Just let that sink in. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> What's it want now? <laughs> but yeah. So it's like the, inter- it's kind of like the, the fight that WWE has with itself is like, do we want these realistic people with first and last names Mm-mm. who, who have, you know, who are just. These real, real people who fight hard and blah, blah, blah. Or do we want people who, who have a little bit of a quirk, quaint, uh, quirk I started to say I think kink and quirk at the same time. A quirk to them. Again, making up words. <laughs> and this point that you're bringing up, just to me as a casual fan, is what really took me out of the last match of the night. Not yeah. to put the car before the horse here, but uh, when we get there. Yeah. 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 I can just, dig it. 
like, like you say, like with Undertaker retiring, there's no real out there gimmick anymore. Right. But you know, I, I think we're kind of moving into an era where we're going to have a nice mixture. I, I'm fine with that. I want, I'd want there to be more of it. I'm sad Paul Burchill didn't work out. The last guy I tried to be a part I, I don't think they gave him a chance. No. I, I think they had some problems with yeah, like just that, him as a person. Well, that and Vince had not seen the Pirates of the Caribbean, so he had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I liked that gimmick. It was fun. Uh, he swung down on a rope. Yes. It was awesome. Isn't it interesting how some gimmicks work for men and then don't work for women and then vice versa. Yeah. So like a pirate is clearly helping with her aesthetic and she's progressing, you know, into a pay-per-view kind of situation. Mm -hmm. But you know, when, what's his name? Paul Virgil. Paul Virgil tried to do it. We were. Oh, people hated it. We were not okay with it. It was deadweighted. No, I. I think part of it has to do with. Kyrie's personality because she's yeah. so mm -hmm. she's so she's good and she's enthusiastic mm -hmm. and she you know that that sells something ridiculous like no one's business it does yeah also I will say this uh, it's gonna sound mean but I'm glad she was champion above all things because it's like when she saw she was on the cards like wait she still works with the, like again I'm not super connected I did not know she was still employed oh yeah it had oh, been yeah. a while since I'd seen her <laughs> and now because of that. Shayna Baszler is our new NXT Women's Champion. Mm. Um, I'm okay with it. Just, I, I want her to do well. I've, but she let's be honest. She needs a manager, though. She, she needs she, something. She needs, I, she she needs, needs a Paul Heyman. She, she needs character development. She does. Um, I mean, let's say what you will about Brock now. There was a point when he was feuding with Eddie Guerrero that he put on a sombrero and shook McMurragas <gasps> to make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. he Inappropriate. Did. He did, yes. <laughs> oh, no. But he did it as a as a as a as a, as a Brock did P that? POS heel, and it mm -hmm. it went over it went over the right, the way it should have. It did, yeah. <laughs> so I gave this match three Meltzers. Uh, I thought it was a really good match. Uh, I thought it was solid all the way around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, new NXT champion uh, Shayna Baszler. Uh, I'm pulling for you. I think you need some character development. Um, Write us and tell us what you think. Yeah, <laughs> please do. What if she did? No. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like she she'd be just... able to punch us over. Yeah. Dude, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> oh. And of course, uh, the address to my office is public, so let's not do that. We're not Google podcasting it. anymore. Google this place Google is cursed. <laughs> yeah, no. Do not invite her to my office. For the, for no, no one's. Debate. No, she's not out to get you. She's out to get dogs. But she'll yeah. go calling him. you out. But she'll go through him to get the dogs <laughs> and me. <laughs> I'll sell you out in an instant. <laughs> Damn it! How is life under the bus, dogs? I, I should not have let all of you knew where I live. It's better than underground. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Becky Lynch versus Woo Charlotte Flair. Yes. Guys, okay. So we watched it that night. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was so enthralled with that match, I didn't take notes. So earlier this week, I watched it a second time. You don't again, do it. I was so enthralled. <laughs> again, I didn't take notes. Today at lunch, <laughs> I watched it a third time, and How I many still notes? How don't have any notes. <laughs> this match was goddamn amazing. Uh, I five five melters solid. Wow. Um, Is that the first five Meltzer match? No. Oh, okay. That was the most excited I've ever seen you get about anything just uh -huh. now. I wish we had been recording this so I could like <laughs> link a YouTube oh, yeah. we didn't, clip in the yeah. show notes. Oh, he's, I got, he's God, I love cigarette. this Wait. match so much. Yeah, do we need to break so we can go smoke after that? I wish. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> I, <will. laughs> I think that's why I got so excited. Can there be a screenshot? <laughs> Oh, that looks um, like you're trying to pass a kidney stone. Well, <laughs> I'm taking photos actively. A kidney so. stone of excitement. A kidney stone of excitement. Um, I no, guys. I mean, there. I I have no words. Uh, I have a few. 
Uh, please not, lay it on me because I got not, nothing. Not negative, but I'll, I'll highlight some of the weaker moments of the match. Sure. It was uh, the table that wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that had to hurt. It yeah. did. Oh, absolutely. Now, I mean, to their credit, I mean, they did what what you do when that when a spot like that because uh, because Charlotte. She did. What, did she do the moon salt or what was? It? She did the moon salt first, but she landed on her feet. Yeah, <laughs> and um, well, she, uh, well, kind of, because she hit Becky and they both slid off the table. Yeah. She tried to put her through a table. So they, <gasps> to, to their credit, they got up there and they got it done again. And it broke that time. Yeah. But earlier there was also um, Charlotte Flair losing her per- peripheral vision when trying to set up a table. <laughs> Um, she was just working on that table as hard as she could. I think Becky may have may have been supposed to have been like a little faster there because mm-hmm. Charlotte was trying to work and put up a table, and then Becky comes flying around the corner and blindsides her. Oh. And it was just like, but there was, so. just, it was it was just a little too slow because it was because Charlotte was really concentrating on that table. <laughs> but and then there was the the almost the. The ECW uh, chair incident time almost part two mm. <laughs> because and it, no and it's a it's, I'm not complaining because it was a really funny moment where mm-hmm. they they're looking at each other outside the ring across from each other and they're looking for weapons at this point in this last woman standing match and they start pulling they start pulling out chairs from under the, the <laughs> ring and they start tossing them and they keep finding more chairs and tossing yeah. they keep going and go- <laughs> and they sh- they throw like eight to ten chairs in the ring. And just a footnote for me, I yeah. guys, I love a, a last man standing match. It's, it's one of my favorite gimmick matches. Um, the problem with a last man standing is it can if you don't have two really solid workers that have the charisma to carry this, this thing can go south so fast mm-hmm. and you can bore the hell out of everybody. You really can. That did not happen in any way, shape, or form on this match. Not one bit. No, it was so solid. Uh, and I'll say the parts that I highlighted, they were some of the goofier parts of the match, but they they just stood out that way. But other, yeah, but they weaved into the, the the entirety of the match very well. It because was, it was theatrical enough yes. to keep your attention, but technical enough for the person that really enjoyed the wrestling aspect of it to be engaged to yeah. which i mean i think is what was fun as a, a casual fan to watch it is like what are they pulling up out of this ring you know you know it's going to be chairs and tables and the kendo sticks the kendo sticks. oh my god oh. she beat the shit out of her with those kendo sticks <laughs> they, yeah they, they, they <laughs> You know, it, it absorbs most of the impact, but like she, by the end of that match, Becky y'all, Charlotte? ha, Charlotte's eyelashes was melting off of her face. <laughs> like they, they left it all out there they, they and did. it was they did. awesome. And I'll tell you something else, guys. Um, now I, I don't know what happens at the performance center in, in Florida, it looked like they were calling in the ring to me. They had a couple yeah. of they they had a couple of spots that they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. They like with the chairs, and then yeah, they had some table things that they were wanting to do. <laughs> but for the most part, it looks like they called that thing in the ring. And my God, was it awesome! I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, for all the times, you know, for all the segments on Botchamania where it's like everyone talks too much and people, mm-hmm. you know, like get too loud when calling spots. I think that works better. Yeah, I, and I'm willing to not. It's like I don't care. <laughs> the, the, I only have a. If you're gonna call it in the ring, the one thing I need you to do, I, 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 I want you to stop grabbing a headlock or a chin lock, and then burying your face into their hair. Mm-hmm. When it's so, but it smells so good. <laughs> obvious that and you're there's calling so much it. of it all the time. <laughs> it's, no, you're not saying that because you're jealous, are you? Well. <laughs> I think all those female wrestlers have each other's hair, <laughs> like at least a half pound of it in their small intestine. I mean, like I, they oh, have easily. To. I don't. I don't oh know my if God. I, can, I can resist the urge to just. Why does your breath smell like Pantene? It's I don't. <laughs> I don't... Aquanet. Just I don't know if I could resist the urge to just you know, if I was in that position, just go. Gee, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> What if it were using? their real hair, <laughs> yeah. most of it's not. Anyway, sorry. No, no. That's I mean. 
I'll, I'll just say it over and over and over again. I loved this match so much. Five Meltzers it all the won. way. That's awesome. It was intense. And uh, it's like, well, I was asking who got the kendo stick first? Who got hit with it first? It I, was, I think Charlotte got hit with it Charlotte first. Got, Charlotte got I think hit Becky first. found she, it first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, because Ooh. I'm trying to wait, who, who, someone got hit and just let out a blood curdling scream, <laughs> didn't they? It was at this match. I thought it was. Uh, I want to say it was them because uh, other yeah. than that, I didn't see a kendo stick. Well, that so, was Charlotte. That was Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, I remember her, t- her taking it. She did the lockup. That's right. That's one mm-hmm. of those things I like where you get hit and you're hurt. You're, you're in shock and you're hurt so bad where you just kind of freeze up. Mm-hmm. And she just starts screaming as the pain hit her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was be- That was a perfect moment. So, they did another move where um, uh, Charlotte tries to lock in the figure eight. Yes. And she did it through a the ladder. ladder. Yeah. Uh, which was strange, uh, but I, you know, yeah, I, you see where she's going with it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It, I, I, I felt like that. Hurt. <laughs> I felt like she was just kind of searching for something at yeah. that, which is another reason she, I think they called this in the ring. It's one of those impractical but intense looking moments. Yeah, yeah uh, because it re- didn't really work, no. but it kind of did. And they went to back to just dumping but, each other in the ladder and the yeah, chairs after that. The, Oh boy, they took so many bumps on those. Oh, uh, no. but the, oh, lead, the lead up to the end, um, where it's, <sighs> who went through the table? Was it Becky or Charlotte? Uh, well, Becky went through first. Right. Uh, with the uh, after meant, she had to climb back up the second go round, okay, okay. and she hit her with a senton. Well, bomb. Uh, I meant uh, the, uh, the the announce table. Who who went through the announce table? I can't. That remember. was Charlotte. That was Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Is it? <laughs> Then Becky did, which is something I think was really smart. And it was kind of funny, but it was really smart, too. But she took the announcer chairs and dumped them on oh, yeah. on Charlotte. Becky's she doing hold, so great she, as a heel. Oh, she to hold her down. Her yeah. up completely. And she was like, count. The chairs. <laughs> and, the, and, then. and when Charlotte got out. <laughs> She, I'm sorry, when the Hulk came out yeah. of the chair. <laughs> I think my words were, she's going to break through those office chairs like a phoenix, <laughs> rising from the ashes. And boy, did she. She, she, did she it, had man. a look of anger on her she, face. <laughs> oh, it, That's when her eyelash was super yeah. like, awful. Oh, yeah. The, the, but I mean, at that point, what do you do? I, and I've never understood why why these ladies are, are putting those eyelashes on to go out there anyway. I, I don't get that. Um, I think it. I think it makes sense if they have a spot where one of them just rips it off the other one. I'm fine with mm-hmm. that. That's mm-hmm. uh, like if I, grabbing tongues. We might as well just grab lashes. Grab, off. grab eyelashes. Why Snatch not? Some wigs. Do yeah, it. I'm, I'm here let's, for it. Let's go ahead and rip that thing right off Sasha Banks' head. Uh, it's already coming off anyway. Uh, oh, well, that'd be a perfect moment for Sasha Banks or Alicia Fox to go nuts. Someone snatches yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, so Becky Lynch retains. Yes. Um, this feud ain't nowhere near over. Absolutely not. And the great thing about it is, um, because we have Hill Becky Lynch right after, uh, the pay-per-view was over. And I think I can talk about this before we get to the uh, main event. Um, Rousey is there and she's doing an interview well, here comes Becky Lynch. And they just kind of do a little stare down. Hey, champ. Ooh. Hey, champ. Ooh. Congratulations. Champ. Yeah, thanks. You too, champ. We'll see you soon. Champ. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was another word they were, they were wanting to say uh-huh. to each other. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was, a, it's getting intense. And I'll be honest, uh, if there's anyone that I would like to see be, uh, uh, I would like, if there's anyone that I want to beat Rousey right now. Uh, it's Becky. Oh, I think I think it's most Becky. of the audience, audience would agree with you. Ooh, yeah. And because they, oh, are, they love her. They love Becky. Oh, they, they were, were chanting for her. They were in the crowd at one yeah. point too. They did they did a good job out there as well. Which, speaking of chanting, so much crowds, happened in that match. I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why it's, it's, I, I. I feel like I'm describing the fight from Anchorman when I talk about it. <laughs> there was a trident. <laughs> <laughs> Becky killed a guy. <laughs> 
Moving on to our main event, we have Rowdy Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. Guys, I had no expectation for this <laughs> whatsoever. You didn't have any expectations for Evolution as a whole. Let's that's be not, clear. That's not fair. Uh, I was you concerned. Were, you were afraid. I was afraid. I was pulling for them. I wanted them to do well. I looked at this card and I thought the way they had stacked it, I was like, "You're you're you're gonna kill it," and I don't mm. think you care. Hell hath no fear. Uh, yeah, they, man, they. I gotta be honest. Uh, I was shocked that Nikki Bella was getting some cheers, and I think that's just uh, kind of the. Think that Rousey has always had split decisions as far as her crowd, her fan base go. Half the people love her, half the people can't stand her. Hmm. Uh, and I think that's where uh, Nikki Bella got some uh, fans. Why can't people stand? I Ronda? think they were also appreciate. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. No, I actively want to know because, no, like, I, go ahead. I don't know because I love Rhonda. I think Rhonda has done amazing things for. Uh, for the fight game as mm-hmm. well as wrestling. Um, are people mad that she took Roddy Roddy's like moniker? Like, are, are, I'm sure there's some, a little bit of hate, but I mean, people haven't. I but, No, from what I've seen on Twitter of uh, fans talking about her. David, my love, when did you get here? I know. I've been sitting here playing Candy Crush this whole time. Cool. No, are they paying us and edit that out? Yeah. Now. Right. Um, no, the uh, the fans mostly hate her because, from what I can tell, she just got sort of forced onto uh, WWE fans. There was very little fanfare build up. What did they think was going to happen? Work like she didn't work her way up from anything. All of a sudden, it was just like Ronda Rousey's going to be in the WWE, and now like her. Ronda Rousey yeah. is in the WWE, yeah, okay. and she's doing all these things. And she and is now a champion. Okay. She's mm-hmm. been here six months. She's champ. She's going to mm-hmm. stay champ. That's not a new system, though. It's not. <laughs> That's how wrestling works. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. not. And I, I, she's a hot ticket. Argu- isn't that exactly what happened with Brock Lesnar too? Yes, uh, it is. That's what I'm saying. Like all these. Brock UFC Lesnar was 22 people. years old when he got that belt for the first time. Ugh. He just walked into rings. Destroyed opponents I don't, walked out. I don't get him. I don't. I'm sorry. Let's That's talk okay. about no, the main talk. event. That's all right. We'll, we'll get to Lesnar. I have uh, so many thoughts and feelings. <laughs> That's, so, yeah, I, like I said, I was shocked uh, about huh. that. Uh, and to uh, Hensley's point, um, there was a time uh, when I was a young man uh, that I would have subscribed to that. I was like, oh, Rousey's just going to come in. They're just going to push her to the moon just because she's got a name. Well, now I look at things from a different perspective. Uh, and Rousey's money. And if you push Rousey, right. we're going to make money. Mm-hmm. Hence, you're going to make money. Uh, right. And that's, a, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, there was a time when I, I looked at things that way. I don't look at it that way anymore. The people that are booing them, they're internet marks. And that's okay because the internet marks have their place. Uh, I'm an internet mark. Uh, But, uh, yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? (laughs) Uh, That means you're a sucker. Um, That's the traditional uh, name for fans. Okay. Yeah. It's it's the historical. It's just like Uh they were the marks, the ones you were fooling. Basically, back back in the day uh, when wrestling was real. you had uh, the the people that would really get riled up. Mm-hmm. They would have a uh, a wrestler go and kind of well, it's like Gorgeous George. He would go uh, he would go to uh, hair salons and have the women work on his hair. Mm-hmm. And after they they did his hair, he would talk trash to them. He was he would talk is about how terrible their shop looks <laughs> and what a horrible job they've done mm-hmm. and how he would and he wouldn't pay. And he just why and just walk out, and, and well, they got mad. Yeah. And they heard that he was rested. They would go to the show, and they'd be booing, and they'd be giving him the mm-hmm. business. And then they would tell people, "It's mm-hmm. like this piece of shit walked in here, and he mm-hmm. did this and this mm-hmm. and this." And uh, it was, there's no it such was, thing as yeah. bad publicity. Right. That Literally. Kind of thing. His okay. Job okay. The people the in the beauty shop yeah. were marks all the time. Gotcha. Okay. Because you had to play the gimmick all the time in public. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Now, we don't have that anymore, but we do have internet marks. Mm -hmm. they, um, they, and they're called the smart marks yeah. nowadays. The smarks. Because they, they, <laughs> they know... The smarks and the trolls of yeah. the internet. <laughs> they, they're kind of one and the same. So oh, they okay. really are, yeah. Because uh -huh. they, 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 they know what the business is supposed to be, and but they're still very much... Out of the business, not mm -hmm. to know. And like, as manipulated, yeah. as easily manipulated sometimes, oh, yeah. But, uh, so... We started off, as, it was a little bit slow, uh, and I, I'll be honest, I did not think, uh, I didn't think Rousey and Bella could carry this match, not for a main event. They're both, uh, Nikki's not a strong worker, let's just call that what it is. It's, sure. I mean, she's fair that's to the, Midland. That's the, that's the very diplomatic way to put it for a lot of people. I'm, I'm not going to say, it, now I'll, I'll say it all day long, I think Bree's horrible. Um, <laughs> Nikki... She's not. She's not a strong worker. Um, she's, but she's got charisma. Yeah. Uh, and that goes a long way. Uh, <laughs> she's got moxie. Uh, yeah. Moxie and charisma. Yeah. That's what she calls moxie. them. And probably a couple of STDs we don't know about. Oh. David Hensley. Wow. We don't know that. Shame on you. <laughs> well, yeah, she. Uh, I stole that from a roast, so don't put that on me. <laughs> but no, they come in and. Uh, they, he they had no choice but to say it. Say oh, it. yes. Um, I'm just over there twisting his arm. <laughs> it, it, it was slow. They tried to work the angle that Rousey could put the arm bar on her any time she wanted to. And they did like three, maybe four spots mm -hmm. where uh, she would judo flip her or whatever. And then she'd grab the arm and she'd start and then she'd let it go. Problem is it didn't go over uh, because Rousey doesn't have that type of charisma to get that across to uh, 10,000 people, mm -hmm. uh, much less anybody watching at home. It didn't play. Um, I see where she's going. Uh, just let's not, let's not do any, anything too complicated here. It's like, we're, 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 we're look, keep in mind, she's still greener than goose shit. Uh, it's, we, we got to, we can't do anything hard with her. And that's a, that spot requires some finesse, some, some chops. She, 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 we're not there. Um, Nikki, however, <laughs> really did play it up well. She did. Um, someone found the switch and flipped her matches from bad to good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a, after that weird start. Yeah. The match took a turn, and uh, it was very simple. It told a nice little story, and it was good. The crowd got into it they after did. that. They did. Um, good stuff. Rousey ends up going over. There was a there was a few blown spots, but. That's a, you know, it's okay. It's to be expected. And, and I, you know, I'm willing to. Nikki and Bella healed it up nicely because they did. They the interference. really did. They did. Uh, won't say anything bad about that. Oh, oh um, yeah, because they, uh, Nikki distracted the ref a few times and Bree uh, hit some uh, shots. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, uh, what was it that, that I wrote down here? Um Nikki uh, wraps her, uh, get, gets her in some head scissors. Yeah. That, uh, I don't know if you caught this or not. Renee Young called th those head scissors a headlock. <laughs> Technically, <sighs> the head is locked in place. I, I, I guess in theory, <laughs> that's right. Look, Renee, yeah, I, was it you that said it that night? Renee is the female Booker T. <laughs> no, that was your wife. Yeah, well, I agree with my wife. <laughs> Somebody write that. Oh, I was about to yeah. say, I'm going write it to down. Pull that audio from On this November first. <laughs> you, you just splice Dogs that in. Agree. Yeah, and I'm just going to make a six-hour loop of it. <laughs> well, and she was, man. Like, uh, like she said that at the beginning of the pay-per-view, and she was not wrong mm -mm. because all of her commentary was very like one-liner, very 
very Booker T. It's, like, the, it's you know, the kind of stuff I would throw out. About both of them can wear a suit jacket. Bored and looking like, to mess around. So. If, <laughs> if we were, if Captain Obvious from the commercial was a commentator. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's, Renee said something at some point that I interpreted as, yeah, if she doesn't win here, she won't win. <laughs> <laughs> I do <agree> with that. <laughs> Well, the reality of this is, Someone's got to win and someone's got to lose. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh usually God. the person that loses will not win. What uh, an epiphany. Oh my God. <laughs> Shh, I'm learning. But now she she puts her in the in the head scissors. Yes. And then she turns around and starts doing push-ups. Yeah. While she's like <laughs> good spots, good yeah. stuff. Um she had a we we moved towards the go home here and Oh, no, I forgot uh, about Rhonda taking that hard shot to the turn post. Yes. Uh, where she was kind of uh, collapsed over the she took apron. Two. Mm-hmm. She took, because, uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the outside ones, because mm-hmm. Nikki and Brie Bella both nailed her. Nikki hit her against the outside turn post and rolled back in, distracted the ref, and then Brie did it again. Yeah. Is and that how she got the scratches I on think her face? So. Well, I think that might be Nikki's nails, which... Uh, <laughs> Really rare. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did. I did see them. Uh, okay. I saw the nails on, on her when she was coming out, and I thought about it, and I'm like, "We're not going to take those off." Or I don't. I don't know if they're fake. I don't. I don't know how that works. I don't. She can't chop off her hands. She can't. Inject no, I mean, aren't they? <laughs> she can't inject the venom if she doesn't don't. have the right. <laughs> no, do, do, are are fake nails not a thing? Uh, did, did I make that up? They, no, they are. <laughs> But like, now? like press on nails. Yeah. Is that she couldn't just what? pop them off though. If, I mean, she couldn't. Well, just, how do you get them off? If you don't pop you have them to off, soak them in acetone. What is They're acetone? glued on there. They're glued on there. It's like yeah. cemented on there. Well, see, now that's just, otherwise you could just shake hands with somebody and there's your nail. Well, see, that's just creepy. <laughs> We've been around for decades. We, we, yeah, are you, uh, we like, do are you a lot just to, now learning? Yeah, we do a lot to look uh, appealing to you I men folk. I no, I had, yeah, I guess so. I, I had no idea. I, I, I had seen them at Halloween Express for witch costumes and whatnot, but I... Well, let me let me interject here for a second because I want to <laughs> well, take it educate back to me, a point. coach me up. Because no, no, your no, no. nails this are done and they're nails. great. <laughs> this has nothing to do with acrylic nails. I just I, <laughs> I want to take it back well, to the point we talking that, about <laughs> that Chris made earlier about um, characters versus I guess workers. You could put it. That's what killed me about this match is mm-hmm. that at any point Nikki Bella could actually beat Ronda Rousey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was my that that was a problem that I had when I realized this was going to be the main. I'm like, oh, well, that, this is going to be a squash. I didn't yeah. I didn't think about it until Dave said it. But even with it not being a squash, at no point did I really seriously consider the idea that Nikki was going to win. Right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Nobody yeah, no. did. You uh, had a, what? Did, what did you did you call, refer to Nikki Bella as a screeching harpy at one point? Might have versus I mean, a former MMA fighter. Yeah, no, that, that sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, that sounds like I, phrases that have left my mouth. Yeah. yeah, she takes that. She took that terrible shot to the uh, turn post, and then uh, we we go to the go home here. Um, yeah. Where uh, uh, Nikki was going to the second rope uh, turnbuckle after she had given her the rack attack and she kicked out. She goes up to the second rope and uh, Rhonda runs up the rope and catches her. And uh, this happens so fast. Uh, there was some people that, why well, I believe it, it might have been you or it could have been Elizabeth. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, it happened so fast. It was like, did, did they botch that spot? And mm-hmm, <laughs> this, uh, mm-hmm. Where she grabs her and rolls in a, uh, it, it was oh, a yeah. judo throw. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, but she fell, because she fell with her, and it happened, it was just, it was, it was, actually, it was very pretty. Uh, it just, it was a legit judo throw, mm-hmm. and <laughs> it didn't look like a wrestling move. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. But I, I liked it. I thought it worked. Um, pulls out, uh, pull, pulls her up, grabs the arm, 
wrenches it and goes taps immediately Oof. and and still uh Ronda Rousey uh it was a good match uh yeah I gave it I surprised that I'm giving it three Meltzers um not a bad main event uh I agree I believe I would have were it me I would have put Flair and Lynch above that, and uh, oh yeah, that would have been mm-hmm. a great close. Oh, God wouldn't mm-hmm. I mean? Because they at number one, it's the last man standing. What? Who, what? How do you follow that? Even the May Young Classic was uh, was pretty oh, yeah. solid. It was like, solid. Yeah. It was uh, th- overall, guys. This entire card, nothing bad happened they here. Mm-hmm. They did. They did. They, they, they did. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm proud to say that I was wrong. Uh, I was, mm-hmm. I I was very worried, and yeah, I'm gonna say it. Um, best pay per view I've seen this year. Yay! I can dig it. Yeah, I can dig um, it. Oh, uh, com- commentary on the other hand. Um, <laughs> well, I mean that's the, you know from us or from the commentator. <laughs> well, our it, commentary no, is I'm, hilarious. They should hire us right me. on the spot. Are witty and engaging. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, also, it was still as bad as it got at some points. It was still a refresher from Corey Graves and the usual shenanigans. And you know, mm-hmm. uh, this is something else that I never thought I would say. Uh, look, I I, I I love Beth Phoenix. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I why she did great commentary work for the May Young Classic. Renee's coming along. She's uh, you know she's going to get better. Um, God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Thank God that Michael Cole was there to bring it together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just a really... I never thought I would say anything close to that, but... <laughs> you heard it here first. Dogs is officially a coal miner. <laughs> if we were to provide commentary for the WWE, I would be that one guy who was texting when the camera like cut around behind him. Oh my him. god, he <laughs> was. That was Michael Cole. <laughs> he was oh, texting. Yes. Well, yeah. he was not engaged enough. No, he, mm-hmm. he had to return he, that he text. Had, he had Here's just said something like, "Wow, what a match!" Cut to. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, I will give some leeway on this. He's been in that long enough that I am pretty sure he can multitask. Or bullshit. Or bullshit. Yeah. And that could have been a text. Right. And yeah. that could have been a text from someone in the back too. It's yeah. like I, I honestly, I because they're in their headsets, they're probably texting them as well. But I was like, there are three. <laughs> There's three last points. One, I forgot a spot between the Kyrie Sane and, and um, Brogdanovich match <laughs> uh, where she held Kyrie Sane up by an arm. Just dangled oh, her. Yes, yeah. she did. I forgot dangled about her that. from the top rope. Oh, my God. So good. I, that was scary. I made an unmanly noise when I saw that. <laughs> I was genuinely he worried. Did. I heard it. <laughs> and was like, I think my only cons of the main event, the major ones, was uh, someone was not paying attention and let Rousey near the eyeshadow again. Um, yeah, we got to knock oh. that off. Because <laughs> she's oh, got a style honey. about how she does it, and it's not great. Yeah. And the other thing was uh, the major mystery of that match was what was up with the back of Brie Bella's pants? Yeah, we, we got into it. <laughs> the phantom butt crack. We got into the a major discussion. Guys, butt crack. if you have not Wait, watched what, Evolution what's or... What's the timestamp here? Are we there, good? You have to keep watching for uh, for any sort of You're camera just going to have to watch this okay. whole uh, main event. Any camera um, angle where Brie is back to the camera. We, uh, we Brie Bella. Much time this was not, and I, I assure you, I assure you, this was not sexual in any way. No, 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 it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It there was like, nothing sexual about what we're about to tell you. But we all noticed uh, Brie Bella. You know, had these pants with some. Uh, it had an, I guess some. I, I guess something that would be. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. Ass window. Um, uh, yeah, it, uh, it would be a, a was, what you would. Call a well tail. A little bit um, of uh, a little bit of for a little bit of a butt cleavage. Yeah. Uh, yet you heard me. There was no crack. <laughs> <laughs> now, meanwhile, I would just like to say I had already given up on this match and was playing a game on my phone, and I keep hearing them, and I'm like, "Well, guys, it's obviously there's got 
Well, shit, no. What? Where's her ass crack? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm in this too. Where is it? Yeah, it's, I think the best we could come up with was there's some kind of a material. paneling. There's yeah, some sort of yeah. like modesty panel, which I mean, if you're gonna wear a pant that has a lace back to it. And it goes that then deep show the in, butt into crack. the V. <laughs> then why have a modesty panel? Like if you're, I don't know. Like I was so confused. It was mystifying. And it was, it, and maybe, maybe she just has a little butt crack. You know, maybe it's just yeah. like a little sliver back there. Yeah. It was a mystery. We we mystery, don't know. Y'all. We've never actually seen it. It's a conspiracy theory, really. It could go sideways. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she could she, <laughs> she, she could slide plus. down the stairs and it goes <laughs> <laughs> she could have a, a plus sign as a butt crack well on that note how about we bring it on home dog? let's oh. bring it on home uh, I was gonna do a top 10 list but my god we have <sighs> we, we've it's we're two hours in hard so um, 3.5 uh, for this uh, best pay-per-view I have seen this year um God, so good, so good. I'm so proud of all these ladies. Oh, yes. uh, they, so proud of us because this is the most on topic we have been during one of these WWE pay per view awesome. discussions. Are you talk? Uh, are you what? also including the ten minutes we spent talking about the butt crack? I, that it was still a, related to was, the pay per view. Yeah. It was. It was That's a part a of the point. match, and I was very focused. Unlike on a couple of weeks ago, when we just went off the rails and never recovered. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? We're always very professional here. Wow. <sighs> Now about Great. Butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much uh, for listening to us. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you have questions, if you have comments, uh, hit me up. You can hit me up at Instagram. Uh, you can hit me up at uh, on my Twitter. Uh, this is a work podcast. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram. This is a work uh, podcast. Uh, you want to hit me up on Facebook. That's David Two Dogs Hayes. Um, ask questions, comments, tell me you like me, tell me you don't like me. Tell tell him how good he looks for 43. Yeah, please do. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, (laughs) And, and I agree with Jennifer L. Uh, Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. you. This has been great. I was really nervous, but I was really excited to talk about this podcast. And I think you guys did a wonderful job. I, you know, hopefully this is a start of a beautiful, beautiful relationship with the pay-per-views being all all female cards. So I'm I'm here for it. I'm I th- here for it. I think I, I think it is. I think they have really shown their stuff. Uh and that was evident just by the way they've been pushing it mm-hmm. on oh, yeah. the aftermath of Raw and SmackDown after that pay-per-view. Uh <laughs> one more thing to talk about. Guys Crown Jewel is tomorrow, so stay tuned. That's only a day away. Oh, We're going to have to record another one of these next week. Yeah, like, uh, we'll, we will discuss after we shut these mics down. <laughs> um, man, do you guys got anything else? Um, I will have an accolade just for you and uh, Chris as host and co-host of this particular podcast Mm -hmm. i i think only at one point and previously you have categorized women wrestlers as wrestlers oh yeah and and like have you know kept them on the same plane just as much as the men and i can appreciate that i think you know there there's something to be said with you guys equalizing a wrestler whether male or female by, oh, absolutely. By their technique and their their prowess and their tenacity. So I, as a female, can appreciate that very much. So I applaud you, and I hope it continues. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I will try to I th- I continue. Just, <laughs> I, well, one thing I'm always going to be respectful of is the fact that they're all in there doing something I can't do. That's very true. I, yeah. No, absolutely. And I'll also say uh, the, the, the women that are here, and the men uh, for that matter, um, stronger, faster, better uh, mm-hmm. than anything we've ever seen. Yes, the psychology may not be there. Um, the psychology was something that was really strong. Each uh, era of wrestling has its own thing that it's into. 
the 70s and 80s was mostly about psychology. The 90s were more of uh, was more about uh, starting to get into a, a hardcore style, uh, the in the Attitude Era, uh, that type of thing. Boundary pushing, overall. right? Yeah, right. Now we're we we've come back into a uh, PG era, and we're it's more we about maybe slightly post PG a little bit. Oh, I think oh definitely definitely yeah. are. Uh, I think we're we're starting to find a happy medium between say the Attitude Era and uh, and the Indie Era yeah. of. Yeah. The where people are, are looking underground for their wrestling. It's an um, indisputable like atmosphere of inclusion, though. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. it's. I'm really happy that a lot of people have somebody that may or may not follow the same culture and ethnicity and gender as they are currently on, and I hope people look up to it and and see that it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and. Mm-hmm. We can make it better. Yes, it is. New Day rocks. So. Bootios. <laughs> having said all that, for David Hensley, Chris the Sarge Barnes, Katie Bearden, this is David Two Dogs Hayes thanking you for joining us once again. And guys, remember, if you got out of bed today, you had a job to go to, and you had somebody that cares about you when you get back home. Folks, this match is over, and you just won be a pinfall. Thank you for listening to This Is A Work. Bye-bye. Thank you, Two Dogs. Thank you to all of our listeners. If you enjoy the show, please make sure to leave us a review and a rating. And also, take a listen to our uh, sister show, Long Walk Talks, also hosted by me and Chris Barnes. He's looking at me like he really wants to say something. What did I cut you off on? Well, now I don't want to say Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Check out Long Walk Talks. Leave us a rating and a review. And uh, hit us up with any of your comments or questions. You can follow Dogs on any of the uh, handles that he threw out there. Or you can email me, david.longwalk at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.